This is Timmy. He just ate his traditional Thanksgiving meal, turkey, stuffing, yams, and his mom's famous pumpkin pie. Yesterday at school, Timmy learned all about the pilgrims, how they fled England for religious freedom, landed on Plymouth Rock, and made peace with Native Americans. But Timmy's teacher made it sound too easy. Timmy still has a few questions that he needs answered. That's the Mayflower. 102 travelers battled the winter in a hold no bigger than a bus. They starved and froze, and few survived to see the spring. The remaining pilgrims did manage to plant crops and even began to build modest homes. Have you ever tried to catch a turkey, Timmy? It's not easy. They were much too fast for the pilgrims and their cumbersome weapons. They'd have to settle for the abundant and slower ducks and geese. These are the religious freedoms the pilgrims wanted, Timmy. Regular meetings and more of them, along with more rules. That's right, more rules. I bet you're surprised by the colorful clothes, too. Remember, they came from Holland and were quite poor. They couldn't afford starched black hats and silver buckles on their shoes. Here it is, Timmy, the first Thanksgiving. Late September, celebrating their first harvest with food that was either boiled or roasted and eaten with their hands. No forks, no plates, and no long wooden table. No turkey, no pie. A few Native Americans would join them, but there isn't a record of any formal invitation. I'm surprised to see you smiling, Timmy. I was worried this would be psychologically damaging to a small child. Oh, I think I get it. Now you've got the whole story. You're starting to appreciate the pilgrims more now that you've seen their struggles. I bet lots of us have made this holiday into what we've wanted, instead of taking time to understand the real story. You're a smart kid, Timmy. <laughs>